We have um, an empty spot for the moment. We're expecting Tori Cole. She's late. So when she came here uh, last time, she was like, you don't do video? I was like, it's right there. <laughs> Tori. Love She's it. like, oh. Tori Cole. Hey. hey. Take off your shoes. Betcha. Tori, what's up? We're live. You, were, you We're recognize live? Nina? Hey, Actually, I just got my hair recolored, so you might not. Who is she? I know. <laughs> Never seen her before. We have to sprinkle in a little bit of an intro. Okay. You know Do I what need I mean? to keep these on? You don't have to, no. Okay. I just feel like it's like more, <laughs> it's more, uh, I guess, like studio friendly if you want to do, if you want to feel like you're on a pod or you want to feel like you're just in the apartment I mean, I with like me. I like both ways, yeah, but honestly, I feel like. Honestly, both ways are good. Yeah, I'll I'm like, I that. like both ways. You guys are getting it very raw today, I tell you. We're raw dogging Everybody, it. Everybody, uh, well, I was talking about the people <laughs> the listening and watching, but you guys too. We're raw dogging too. it too. We're in. <laughs> Tori, I was talking, I wasn't like talking shit, but I was like, wet the last time Tori was here, it hey, took like a few minutes and you were like, wait, great. do we do video? <laughs> I was like, yes, <laughs> the video is right there. It's like hiding. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need that. Yeah, well, because I want oh, yeah, to make you make everybody feel comfortable. Too. Oh, yeah. We're all raw dogging it. Yes. It looks good. I like That's the cute, branded, right? I think, yeah, we got a pretty recent box. Is nice. Um, so you two girls have been in the city for a few years now pursuing yes. comedy. Yep. Do you guys have a reason that you came to New York? Was there like a specific comic or was there like, oh, I, I'm a good performer. I want to move to New York and be more social. Like, what was the mindset? Um, I think for me, I was deciding between L.A. and New York also because I had like grown up acting. So that was playing into the L.A. thing. And I just always have been drawn to New York. And I do think it's a lot easier to like really try in New York for a while and then go to LA. Just also in terms of like New York, that kind of like kicks you in the face. Yeah, you can do so much more in New York. Right? Yeah, and, and then so over LA. yeah, I just sort of was like, I'm always drawn to New York. I want to go there because I want to live in New York mostly. I think we talked about this, but you did like plays growing up in high school. Yeah, like musicals and that nerd kind of alert. Thing. Um, yeah. Were you in the chorus too? <laughs> yeah, I was. Okay, I went to theater camp. I remember fourth grade. Uh, I joined chorus just because like Jessica. I don't know if I have to be bad or last name, but like was in it and I had a big crush on her. Uh -huh. So I wanted to join chorus. What about you, Tori? I just moved here for advertising to get a job and uh -huh. then I found comedy like five years down the road. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're I the best mate speech. Exactly. I just my mom, like worked, she my mom worked in advertising. Did I tell you that? For Your mom bubble, did? for Bubblicious. Oh, so she God. created Lemon Squeeze. Oh wow, which is like the flavor, yeah. and she was in the group that created Watermelon Splash. Okay. so she gets like a sixth of the credit there. But her That's office huge. was in the build, the lipstick building where Bernie Madoff had his office. Oh, the seventeenth and nineteenth floor. So a lot of history there, yeah, I tell yeah. you, a lot I'm of like, New wow. York history. Yeah. Like, she lives she and that was the reason for? I moved to New York City, by the way, because my mom got that job. God. So shout out my mom. Oh, yeah, that's mom. why I'm a city girl. Oh, you grew up here because how Six long weeks old. does she still work for that company? No, 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 no. What's the company? Is it? That's I not don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, no. She worked for the agency question. I don't know. Yes, or yes. the company. Advertising that... agency. Got oh, it. yeah. You, they probably had them as a client. Exactly. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you no, don't know the name sense. of the agency? No, oh, I okay. should. Maybe I should. Well, I wonder if they still live, uh, live no, in that if building. They just, if they Maybe still they live there. do. <laughs> they probably do, though. It's like because they do 30 year leases in offices these yeah. days. Yeah, but then there was like, you know. Then there was, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Could what is so the Dutch State Building? Should I know what that is? Yeah, probably. probably. Yeah, 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 you should know that, and I should know this. What? You should know what your mom's like. What the company was? Yeah, you're right. Oh my god, you thought there was a ghost? That's just yeah. The guy I was next like, I was like, oh, there's it. someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Creaky, creaky walls. No, it's just me here. Yes, you're right. I should know. What were we talking about? I asked you what the lipstick building was. And oh yeah, fifty <laughs> third and second. Yep. It's just a building oh. that pop it up right here. You can see it if you didn't do the research. Is it That's not? prior to this episode. Oh, okay. You can see it You're, right here. Are you not going to look it up after this? You're not going to find out until right now as we're showing oh, it. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Anyway, yeah, it's like layered like I forgot lipstick. you're so good at editing. So, yep. Mr. There you Editor. go. Pop it up. But uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty iconic, I believe, it, because of Bernie Madoff. I don't, and also they called it the um, nice. building. Yeah, I got that from Amazon. The crystals? Oh. Yeah. I Maybe I shouldn't have gotten When you buy there. crystals, you're supposed to buy them based off of them talking to you at the store. And then they draw you in and they're like, hey, over here, I'm going to change your life. And then <laughs> they give them to me at the end of a lymphatic drainage massage. Oh, nice. Like, Thank you. What's, is that like through your nose? No. <laughs> it's lymphatic like, um, drainage? Oh, it's, it's in your lungs? N also, no. Can you imagine if I was like just getting my lungs massaged? <laughs> yeah, I don't you know? know. That sounds like a boob massage. <laughs> like, but no, 
it's basically this it's supposed to flush your lymphatic system truth be told um it just makes you look a little bit skinnier afterwards. oh really so okay. that's come down is that like a colonic how much is um, that you know it's i think it's like similar like mindset right. like you know it's supposed to it depends on where you go like sometimes you go to the more you know granola places. what is your go-to like rates i just want to know what, what i'm working with <laughs> it's like a normal <laughs> massage so it, it'd be like a two hundred dollars yeah like 100 200 okay depends totally depends on where you go there's but so many new things these days like i this. walk yeah. out skinnier i'm not oh, kidding what's the, the new thing the ozpemic what's it called ozempic ozempic <laughs> yeah Ozempic. apparently it's a big fake out because you gain all the weight back when you stop taking it oh right because it just suppresses your appetite i think right i don't know what it is it's a diabetic it's definitely so not supposed to be just taken yeah but. the fact that apparently you don't get hungry on it is alarming it's like adderall but minus the side effects at that per certain time like i used to take concerta all the time and i like hated it yeah from ages eight to 15 i was just a zombie that's so sad yeah. like a tennis that's camp they would try and feed it to me and i would just like that's throw really it in the sad. field and really one time this kid found it and he's like ted you're not taking your medicine i was like dude it just makes me a zombie i don't want to do it yeah, no, no, I, I had a lot sad. of friends that were like yeah, that. I know it is sad. I'm My like, brother I mean, never liked taking any of that stuff. Yeah, so. I, was, I had I drugs kids forced on me. I shouldn't be put on drugs like that. I don't know well, how I to take, just, but like, I, I was, don't believe I in I was that. really um, disruptive and okay. didn't pay attention in school. So you needed so to be like, like all right, you got to figure out something. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You like, I had a tutor a too. Yeah, I had a tutor like six days a week. <laughs> Nothing was working. Damn. Well, look at you now. We've all had to have a tutor. You know, yeah. So I had a math tutor. I cried a lot about math. Like, oh. I sobbed. Did you ever work with your dad and, like, he made you cry during math? No, my dad that never really, he, like, gave me. up on me. My mom would sit with me doing math stuff, and she didn't know what was happening either, so then they got me a <laughs> tutor, and I would cry with the tutor a lot, and I'd be like, I don't get what, it. What grade was that? Uh, like my whole life, like, all the yeah, grades. Yeah, like, <laughs> algebra one, See, two. math, like, made sense to me, but I had to do, like, the S, well, I had a handwriting tutor. That was humbling. No way. Yeah, I think a I was supposed to be left-handed, and so my handwriting was really bad like really bad and they were like no you gotta you gotta figure but that out. means you're smart did yep. anyone tell you that oh no? really i have bad handwriting <laughs> i'll take yeah, that see, me too. oh i'm a genius two, three yeah three mm -hmm. geniuses my handwriting I'm so genius. what a uh, handwriting tutor that's mm -hmm. intense because like nowadays kids don't even do kids even write anymore i don't know they definitely don't have to learn cursive yeah they just fill out the sat bubbles if it, that I That's did terrible on the SATs, but I secretly was able to cheat. How badly? What's your, what was your grade? You were was able insane. to cheat? Like 1,600 or something. That's and I cheated. That's not bad. I had, I had a 1,582 yeah, or something. Yeah, but maybe around a 1,590. Yeah, okay, so you know how they have... They have perfect extended time? <laughs> hey, perfect? Yep. That's crazy. I love how you were like, math came easy to me. Literally, you're with in the presence yeah. of a genius, Tori. <laughs> and she's got bad But I will say the the vocab section I missed like every single one. That whole thing was hard. That's AT. How'd you cheat? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so they had. That's like really hard. Yeah. They had yeah. kids who were, uh, everybody got extended time. Uh -huh. And I realized uh -huh. that it was like A, B, A, B. And I saw like the kid next to me directly across was B. And then I realized that the kid in front of him was A and had the same math section uh -huh. as me like i double checked a few times to make sure and i was like there are eight questions that i wasn't even gonna fill out and i was like might as well fill out a couple so you just copied them and you got a, f a bad score I guess. and for that i thought reason, you said it wasn't bad maybe they no well you said it was bad <laughs> but that yeah but the, anyway that <laughs> got, that got me into college I said that you and said like that's the whole reason i played tennis in college where'd you go beautiful thing for cheating you can't Oh, we right. won the Natty that. Championship, oh, by the way, if you oh, ladies remember. Out ten times. Oh, if we so remember. <laughs> that was just four days ago. Remember. So we won it also my freshman year I was there in basketball and my senior year. Wow. And like Dang. the women won it, I think, two times also. We That's had a crazy so cool. sports program when I was there. That was like we the won, reason I wanted to go. Well, we lost in the national championship my freshman year. and then UNC. We, yep. And then we won my sophomore year. Do you ever get offended when people are like, oh, UNC Asheville or like one of those random UNC yeah, schools? Yeah, well, so sometimes like in North Carolina, we'll say, oh, I went to Chapel, Chapel Hill. Hill. Yeah. But then here I'll just say UNC because that's what most people know. And occasionally someone will be like, which one? And I'm like, did yeah. you grow up yeah, there? Yeah, like, you even know that? Where'd you go again, Terry? Boulder. You enjoyed it all four well, years? Well, I hated it my uh, freshman and sophomore year. I like, was so sad. It was just like, I just like threw myself into the middle of the country. Like I grew up in Maryland and I just kind of found myself like with no friend. I, I didn't know a soul going out there. And then I was just like 
also high school was like my own little bubble of like lacrosse like, and all my yeah, best friends. Preppy I had girls, like 13 right? best Lacks. friends. We called ourselves like a whole, it was like a whole the thing. The mean girls? No, we were not the mean girls, but <laughs> <laughs> people thought we were, but I, we were nice. <laughs> but uh, I well, what, actually, I want to ask you guys this. Did, did you, it, was your transition to college hard or easy? Easy. Because were you close to home? Mm -hmm. How close? Really close. But it, and, and I never thought I would go so close. Like I went, I mean, it was it was so close by, and so many people went to UNC from mm -hmm. where I was from, but I didn't think I was gonna go there. I just like sort of ended up doing it, but it made it easy. Like I was in a sorority, mm -hmm. so um, which one? I was at Kappa Delta. Oh, I would get in so much trouble if anyone ever saw me do that. Was like a one rule they were like, never <laughs> throw the letters. It's weird. The diamond. You guys start with diamond, like Jay Z. It was like this, Kappa Delta. Oh, because is that okay? Yeah. And then this is DG, right? What yeah. were you in DG? I was a Chi Omega, but I hated oh, really? it. Yeah, I hated it with every fiber of my did being. You, <laughs> did you think about transferring? Did you fill out transfer yeah, applications? Yeah, I almost went to uh, College of Charleston, and then I almost oh, transferred to Maryland. I could see you there. I could see you at College of right? Charleston. Yeah. I just wanted to be closer to home, but that wasn't closer to home. And then finally everything clicked at Colorado, and I was like, oh, I love this. And I, honestly, like, I'm so grateful that I stayed because I would have just taught myself that outside world is scary and home is safe if mm -hmm. i had done if that, you had done that yeah. and then i probably would just be living in maryland right now which but i no think there shade, is something but like, yeah but i think there's something I to left. be said for people who um stay close to home they maybe have a better experience initially like as soon as they first go yeah, you know yeah. I, mean? I think it depends on like the because i was always like oh i'm never gonna go i was like hawaii university like yeah, yeah. i am getting out of here and <laughs> then like, were your parents telling you like you're not going far away from home oh no my rebelled? parents were like literally do whatever you want yeah. like they were very much so and they also very much so taught like home is where the heart is it's not necessarily in raleigh or whatever you know mm -hmm. so i wasn't like i have to be right here like near you know raleigh but some people went to unc because they were like i need to be close to home they would like go home and do their laundry my parents were like you're not fucking doing your laundry in raleigh like you have a laundry <laughs> room on campus like you're not yeah, driving yeah. back to do that mm -hmm. so i think it just depends because i know some people that like they grew up in Raleigh, they went to UNC, they went back to Raleigh or Charlotte or whatever, yeah. and that's like their whole life and good for them. But that just never was like what I was told. So I knew I would like leave. Was your transition to college hard? Eh, kind of. Yeah, I always got homesick. Yeah. And playing tennis at that school, like we were by no means a top tier program. So it was just like we were kind of around because we kept the team GPAs high. Mm -hmm. So it was like we never really could take it that seriously because we were just always the bottom of division one. And I never yeah. felt like, I don't know, I felt like I was putting too much time into tennis. And I was like, why am I spending 30 yeah. hours a week? on this tennis team when nothing is going to come right it, you know so you uh, quit tennis yeah got on it the team, yeah. wow and yeah. then life got better for you at college yeah well or? i wrote a, like a, a mo i wrote a movie <laughs> right yeah. so i was able to do a lot of things that i wouldn't otherwise got be able it. to do i was taking improv classes drama classes so all these classes your way, that had your uh, like blocked off due to tennis practice and things like that yeah got so it. i surely found my way but it Opens took me a long time doors. after that i tell yeah. you because like as soon as I got back to New York, I was like, shit, what do I do? Mm -hmm. I was promoting clubs for a little bit. And then I worked at my dad's company. That. Yeah. Like Up Avenue? and down, Gilded Lily. Yes. That's insane. Avenue, uh, Marquee. <laughs> I just like can't. Uh, One Oak. <laughs> I just like can't picture it because like as a girl that like used to go to clubs. Yeah. Like, club promoters. Yeah. But like, I was the, I was the <laughs> nicest club promoter. I wasn't no, a dick. I, I wasn't like, being so nice. show my phone. Like, oh, yeah. Well, this one's coming. Your whole job is just to find hot girls and put them at tables, right? <laughs> Isn't that what club <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, is? But I, so it all started when, okay, so this is like going into sophomore year. I started going to clubs just with kids who I grew up with. Mm. And then this one manager at a club was like, hey, why don't you come back tomorrow night? Like bring whoever you want. So I brought good looking people. They gave us a table for free. And he was like, you should start working at some of these places. So I would legit get paid like $20 per girl that I would bring no to the way. club. And like, I would have my own table, bring like two of my boys uh -huh. and then I would get paid. And anybody who spent money at the table that we were at, like I would get a percentage off the bottle. No like the way. gray goose bottle in the club Isn't 10 no years ago is $400. Yeah. Dom Perignon, $350. So some people would come in, Turkish, 35-year-old so kid, sad. whatever, spend $5,000 in the club. That's crazy. That's How wild. much money did you make That's doing that? I made, during the summer, I probably made like $20,000. How did you find the, the girls? 
I well, I went to a perf- so I went to a performing <laughs> arts high school. That was number one. Okay. And I knew a lot of models, models, actors, singers, dancers, like ballerinas. So just friends of uh, friends of friends. Yeah, friends of friends who grew up in the city. And a lot of these clubs just didn't care if girls were 21. So no joke. 70% of the girls that I brought out were underage. That's, that's for bonkers. sure. That's bonkers. Yeah. Well, I was underage too, though. I was 20 yeah. years old wow. doing this. So it was just like, it, it was a whole crazy scene. Did you look scene. older as a kid or you look like a child? No, like I look like I was 20 years old smoking like cigarettes outside the club. That's so funny. With my J. Crew shirt. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Do you feel like, yeah. you feel like growing up too. in the city made you grow up really quickly? Yeah. I mean, like that would never happen anywhere. Right. And especially yeah. oh me gosh. thinking that this was an okay thing to do. No, I remember my 21st birthday. Like, it was a joke that everybody working at the same clubs knew that I wasn't 21. Yeah. So, like, when I legitimately was 21, everyone was making a big deal out of it. That's so funny. Did your parents give a shit that you were doing all this? No, because I was ordering Seamless on my dad's account twice a day, then playing tennis one hour a day. He was like, Chad, you got to fucking do something. So, they were like, like, fuck, what do I do? I literally was promoting. I played tennis for an hour, and then I'd be out from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. And, like, those are my. Oh, nice. hours. And then it's I'd not order as bad seamless. as hours as I would think, honestly. Like no, I well, it's tw- it so being. twelve to three, and if anything was going on a little bit later, like I was expected to stay. Mm-hmm. But like I was drinking five nights out of the six nights a week that I was Did working. You get fat? Sheesh. Yeah, not fat because I was still playing tennis and I was young oh, okay. enough. But yeah, definitely like, was unhealthy eating okay. cheeseburgers and all this shit. Yeah. Oh, right. Look at you and now you're vegan. Vegan. Now I'm vegan. Yeah. Exactly. And you don't That's drink why. either, do you? Not really, a little bit. But like, <laughs> when so did that stop for you? I think it was just like it was just there was five or six years of doing nonsense like that yeah. hanging out with people who wanted to be doing that mm-hmm. going to big group dinners you know where like it was just spending stupid amounts of money on group dinners for people i didn't even give a shit about yeah 150 dollars at fucking worst. koi it's like what am i doing here just to be in in that scene yeah. and yeah, then i thought that it. like some of these people would come out and spend money at my table so it's like semi business, you know, because I get yeah, a cut yeah. of it. Right. So it was just like it was a weird, a weird life. Gr- yeah, so weird life. It is kind of like comedy, you know, like <laughs> you're you're around like all these all these like minded people, uh-huh. but in an, in a negative way, right? Like comedy is like comedy is comedy's positive, you know, like yeah. people are a ten comics yeah. deep, eleven p.m. on a Saturday night, none of them are drunk. You yeah, know, like everybody's yeah. there to try and better their Hello, career their dreams. as a person, right? Yeah. yeah. The, the thing is, the difference would be like there'd be 11 people Saturday night. Everyone's looking for the next bottle. Yo, where's yeah. the at? Oh my God, I almost cut my leg. Yeah, but <laughs> getting like too looking close for to drinks or whatever. And I'd have to be watching for squidge, like squidge, I mean, weird guys uh-huh. around the table hawking, trying to pour themselves drinks. I'm like, dude, who do you know here? Yeah. Get out. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to have the bottle, you know, a little sip. <laughs> I'm like, no, wow, get out of here. Get a whole court. <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazy fucking time. That is crazy. I haven't spoken it on depth like that in a while. So but I feel yeah, like we just unlocked something. For yeah, you. It, it was interesting. I it was, was interesting. But I think I got a lot of my social skills from uh, growing up, as you said, in in the city. In the city. Yeah. Um, that being sense. able to t- like talk to people of all different walks of life. You know what I mean? Like even interacting with the guy at the deli ordering a sandwich. Like you yeah. don't really do that. No offense. Where you guys probably grew up, right? Yeah. I had a 7-Eleven by me. I'm cultured. Yeah, but you probably didn't know the guy's name. I was in a bubble. You're right. No, I lo- <laughs> like, I say I think everyone should live in New York. I think it's made me yeah. who I am. I mean, yeah. I think everyone should live in the South at some point too, though. I say growing up in the South, yeah, you because you see sides, you see potential. I don't want to, you know, impose, but maybe bigotry potentially Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then maybe you grew up in new york and then you got to deal with everybody you're like fuck i I ain't got time to be big big triotic right that's the word sure (laughs) you know it's new york York. i honestly like i think about living here for my whole life i really would like to do that if i can afford it and i I see little kids running around and i'm like it's definitely an interesting life like I i find them very like when I meet someone that's from here, I assume they're just like cultured and like better than me because they like are because they just have been exposed to so much. And I'm so fascinated by that. But I'm also like, oh, that's like a very difficult life as well. Like I see the kids like playing in like, like a cement playground and I'm like, that's tough. Yeah. And like this yeah. apartment is the size of like a four person <laughs> apartment. Not at not I will say though, I don't think you need much more space than this. Like, no, you get well, you so do used family. to it. What do yeah, you for, for a family. family, but like not like to like, not, you don't need a giant home. Like I feel like. Living in our spaces like teach you that you really don't need that much more. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. but then you go and visit people in the south and I you're know. like, I 
would love a little more. No, but I have a friend that just moved to Connecticut. And when I visit her house, she's bought like a three bedroom, massive home on like an acre. And I come back to the city and I feel like I'm, tr- I'm like, cl- the walls are closing in. Like yeah. I hate visiting her. Cause I'm like, I come back and I'm like, I feel stuffy in here. Well, that's and also it, because probably like where you grew up, you're kind of used to spreading your wings. Yeah. But I, I feel like I, when I'm here, I adapt so quickly. I don't think about it. But then being like forced <laughs> to like see it, I'm like, oh. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah. Look at it. <laughs> this is, this is how you spread your wings in New York. Yeah. <laughs> You're a flying, chicken. I had a new bit. I was trying out the other night that I did that. I was flying down to Miami. I was in the middle seat. I was like, I'm taking both these armrests. That um, was the basis of it. You know like what's it. so annoying though? <laughs> you when sound people, like a dick. We're working on it. <laughs> yeah, see, no, but see, I totally agree. If you're in the middle seat, you get both armrests. Really? It really what sins. What do you mean, really? What do you, really? Oh I my guess gosh, you're it right. Okay, sends I guess you're me right. over the edge when <laughs> I am in the middle seat and they take both. I'm like, I know yeah, I'm that's, small, but that's I why get. I only fly private. You know, that's true. Don't <laughs> in the middle seat. I guess oh, I never really salary. thought about it. I love it. Love it. on like, yeah, I think it depends like the largeness of the people. That's true. No, but it's that. Sometimes it's people just so rude because I'm a very small over. person also, and think I, don't I wanna, can take on Yeah, I don't want to make it socially acceptable to be it's flooded not. over. It's dusty. You, you're a skateboarder chick? Yeah. Do you have contacts, by the way? Yes. What are your numbers? I don't know. We talk about this? I want to get Negative LASIK. 1.25 and 1.75. Oh, yeah, like if I, if I take it off on the street and I saw one of you guys, like we have to go like this. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm pretty blind. It's annoying. What the, how did we... I don't know. Would we have died off if it was still yeah. like survival if there's an apocalypse, of the fittest? Of dead. I would I like 20, to think 20. that I, yeah, it's just my eyesight. Like everything else, I feel like I'm survival ready, but it's just my, on my eyes. Like <laughs> if I don't have my contact. I'll win. But yeah. <laughs> I think Legit, I would be, I would want to go. <laughs> yeah, Honestly, like, if there's a big traumatic thing, like I'm good to go. <laughs> what do you mean? Like World War Three? Like, yeah, I don't want to deal. Like if you're You want to be it, the first off. Yeah. Like if there's like an apocalypse yeah. or like, I don't want to come down to my eyesight. Like just take me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Be me Like if there's an apocalypse, I'm down to go. Like I don't want to be the one of 150 people left on Earth. Yeah. Like, um, I, think, I, am I, I think I would be the one. <laughs> I'd be like, no, they would like have forgotten that I was still here. And I'd be like, what do I do now? You know? Still in your farm in the East Village. Like that what was like, you know, did y'all ever have to play um, dodgeball as kids? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Well, dope. so I was always the one that people were like, Nina wins every time. And it was because I just like kind of stood in the back. Uh-huh. Yeah. It was really small. Okay. And so everyone else would get hit and then I'd get all the credit. So even if I lost. You were good at dodging the ball. That's the fucking game. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to spit on you. No, I, I didn't notice, but thank you. In college. <laughs> I don't know. I, I felt your college. hand. Oh. What were you saying, Tori? I played dodgeball in college, and they there was teams in college. Like, yeah. Stop. Just for fun. No. But like, like intramural club. dodgeball. Yeah, exactly. But one I don't time, know if they had that at UConn. They had it at Boulder. Sure at UNC, though. that would have been a microaggression. Probably, I did it my so. freshman year, but then I got too scared because these guys would throw it so hard to the point where like the ball would like literally like, arc in the air like <laughs> like they throw it and it would like get curved and then like literally like it would be thrown over there and next thing you know in two seconds it just hit you in the face <laughs> do you have jets count in that league yeah oh my oh. god oh. everything it those was guys crazy. are like wow. the worst kind of guy those are the guys that like it was no terrifying girl is happy within the bedroom but i'll never forget saying. i'll never forget one time my roommate at the time my freshman year roommate she played, played softball growing up and she was she the sure last did. one and she wound up like a pitcher <laughs> and just nailed this guy. And we won. Yeah, did like one of these and like stepped and just launched it. And it was so cool to watch. Oh, so I was like, epic. good for her. Yeah, suddenly Girl softball power. was cool for a second. For a second. She's from Durham. Oh. That's Duke, though. She was a Duke fan. Oh. That's tough. Yeah. We're gonna for, we're gonna pretend you didn't mention that. Did you yeah. did you ever date like lacrosse players being in Maryland? Yes. Is it a stereotype that totally. a lot of bros? And I still see like a up. blacks bro, and I'm like, oh my yeah. god, I'm like, you were thirty Maryland? years old. You cannot. <laughs> you cannot that was that. In, in North Carolina too. It was always like, oh my gosh, like the hottest. What's the thing? appeal though? I, I guess don't it's know. just a, it's a regular sport. Like, and it was mean. Do it down there. It was they're mean. I have a lot of friends that were lax players and are actually pretty nice people. It's down but, south, not in Maryland. I have a couple of Baltimore. Isn't Baltimore in Maryland? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little confused with all those cities up uh-huh. there. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of cities. But um, I have a couple of friends from there that are pretty nice. I guess the ones I dated just it didn't end well. So I'm what happened? Uh, I mean, that's a, 
That we, got, we, got, we got time. Ooh, Ooh. 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 No, my first boyfriend was just not a very good person. He like hooked up with my friend and then all my How friends old were you knew and uh, I was 15. Was I did it from like, 15 to 17. That was a big heartbreak for you? Big pff, just Damn. smithereens. Just oh, that's so depressing. Did you it learn so a lot sad. from that though? <laughs> I learned to never love again. <laughs> That was half your life ago, though. I know. No, I know. You just, you just totally I, revealed no, her she age. she already did. Yeah, she already your did. feelings are <laughs> not she said valid. 30. Yeah, well, uh, I dated him from 14, actually, to like 18 was like oh, wow. the full span oh, of it. A lot of years. A lot of years. Again, That's some formative years. <laughs> formative. It was the, the, I think that was the key word did right there. Did he blame it on you? He was a big gaslighter for sure. Yeah, oh, well, the best see, part was, before the word, again, I, I, shouldn't, even talk, I shouldn't even be talking about something from so long ago, but it still bothers me. And <laughs> the best part was well, when he hooked it. up with someone, when we were like dating, dating, uh, he told me it was someone else. He was like, oh my God, that was Sean. Like, that's so embarrassing. You think that just gaslit the shit out of me. And then we ended up dating for so another like bad. two years. And then I finally found out it was him and my good friend. And I'm just like, and I remember like sitting on my couch texting and being like, hey, I heard this happen. And then him like just being like, you're such an idiot. Like that was Sean. It's the worst. Right. And There's I'm a like. a special place in hell for right? guys like that. And my parents yep. were getting divorced at the same time. And it just was like oh a big my. explosion <laughs> of like. <laughs> my, so you're like, I'm moving to New York and pursuing advertising. Well, this is a long time ago. I mean, this is pre like Colorado and everything. I right. mean, no wonder you were depressed. Going into terrible. Terrible. I was so Jeez. sad. How oh, many yeah. boyfriends have you had? Like three. Total. So that was one. Yeah. <laughs> how about you nina um <laughs> like actually serious boyfriend like what yeah or like a oh okay so yeah. it wasn't a heartbreak like that yeah no you had your mean, heart smashed into four thousand pieces i had my <laughs> ego smashed into like four thousand would you take ayahuasca what? No, I, <laughs> no i i very much so like the the guy it was more recent than that like it was during covid i would right? hope yeah <laughs> again that should be an irrelevant thing like that i, I shouldn't had... talk about into a podcast when i'm 30 years old but it happens <laughs> but so it happens. i'm sorry <laughs> no i still bring up my high school ex but i don't really count him as like real i don't really know i don't know if he's listening I, it was so real <laughs> it was real to me too <laughs> But like it wasn't really real. Um, it's but, real to me. Uh, <laughs> the we had was special. And then college, it was like a, I had a situation ship like all of college, so that wasn't really real. And then those are tough though. That one fucked me up the most. Cause you put your feelings in a box, and you're like I don't care, and then like you do. Yeah, but yeah. is it possible for both of them to feel that they're in a situation ship, or it has to be one do you one think side stronger was, than the other? Yeah. It was very much so like, no, we, we both acknowledged it recently. And when I finally did get a real boyfriend, he, the situationship guy was like, wait I love a second, you. I love you. And I was like, Classic. bro. Okay. But um, no, but yeah, I've had one very, very serious boyfriend and I thought I was heartbroken, but I, I was more just like my ego was a little bruised. I was like, oh, just kidding. And then I was fine. That's good. Yeah. So, any big heartbreaks for you? <laughs> uh, How many girlfriends have you had? I, I I'd say probably yeah. Like I don't know if it, maybe four or six. You know what I mean? Like four <laughs> that I would consider four for real, to six. and then maybe like six like situationships. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. Uh, so four, yeah. you like put the label on it. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe other two or three, and I didn't. So I was a senior in college, and this girl was a junior, and she went abroad, and uh -huh. like that was one of the worst years of my life. Sad. I told her that too. <laughs> I was like, this is one of the worst years of my life. You're awful. Just because like, she was like, oh, but we're not together, but we are together treating it like we are together. So mm. I just had mixed messages all the time. That's you know? stressful. Yeah. That's real stressful. It's but hard hey, giving whatever. someone like your feelings because you're like, I'd like to have all control of this. Yeah. yeah. But fucked. then you give them to someone a little bit and then you're like, no, don't drop it. <laughs> be careful with that <laughs> please at least give it back to me yeah <laughs> you can it borrow this piece. for now yeah. <laughs> elise yeah yeah that's funny it they would should treat sense. it like that like elise yeah it would make sense mm -hmm. if it worked like that it would make way more sense being like instead of being like i'm gonna buy this it's like i'm gonna lease this for a few months and see how i like it um but i ideally want to be with the guy that wants to buy it <laughs> yeah but but like what if you don't want to buy it you know i, mean, I never want to buy it but that's exactly. just exactly <laughs> I don't know. My friend Hamza has a really funny joke where he says that, uh, shout out Hamza, he talks about how uh, like marriages should be like uh, contracts, like football contracts, like four seasons, let's let's pay the upfront, like it's a $4 million like, right. you know, deal. 
and then we'll reassess. That's how they should do it with weddings. Like if I yeah. go to freaking Greece for somebody's wedding and they're divorced two years later, I want my airfare back. Yeah, I'm like, hello. <laughs> I want all that money. I'm like, I spent what did I get back. out of this? If you guys hit the 10 year mark, fine. So imagine good. if you like, I want my tab, money back plus interest. And then you're like, hey, your tab added up to about uh, twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> we'll be back. I don't know. Listen, it's hit him tough with the memo. out here. <laughs> And with, are you dating anyone right now? Not at the moment. You were on the apps Not last the time moment. we talked. You saw on the apps? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were using yeah. a picture Over from the apps. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> that was, that was my favorite. That was funny. Was like, yeah, Nina was like, <laughs> Raya photo. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get on Raya, but they're not approving my damn application. Did you refer? Like, yeah. Like, me as a thingy? I got one referral from my friend Jamie. Well, you add us. Yeah, I, I, don't know us, you, you know? I don't know how you do. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how anything they, works. Apparently, it like comes up in the top corner and says, do you want to refer a friend? Next time that happens. Yeah, I'll go and do like work. Okay, thanks. I got you, girl. Because I'm having. So but sometimes people ask they made me. a decision. Oh, um, dun dun dun. Wait, really? Yeah, that it goes. You, right? Our committee um, members consider a handful of variables. Your application decision is here. I'm Open it. Yeah, yeah, I'm to come on, <laughs> guys. I'm sweating. Live on the pod. There's no way you don't get in. Uh, Just say. There's no way they don't I'm accept gonna, it. Oh, your application is currently on a wait list. Oh, they I got wait listed. I literally was going to pee my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to not. Did, not to not. No, did you guys did. get wait listed? No, but I, I was on it like seven years ago. <laughs> but this um, is, I was on it like seven years ago. Um, No, I didn't. They but do like, that to, that they they do that to So if I add referrals. Yeah. Add yeah. Okay. Do you Listen, have my number? It's such a fun I don't think I do. I have Nina's though. Yeah. It's so fun. I've met so many wonderful people. Really? Do you have, <laughs> do you have, do you guys ask you out a lot? No. I've decided I do, I'm not, I'll match, but like I'm not setting up oh, the first you're message. you're the worst. You know what? But you guys have jammed me up so many times with me messaging first and then like, no, see, it doesn't I, work. When I message first though, guys are like, whoa. No, I like that. <laughs> no. So I guess, yeah, I'm in the, I'm in the. So are we going to date? Minority. Maybe. Yeah, you it guys sounds like date. it. I saw Nina on I the street go. the other day. I was late anyways. Where were you going? Yeah, we're like, what's right? Where, where were we? Were we like McDougal oh, for a second? Oh. You were going to watch a basketball game. Yeah. And UNC. whenever I'm near the comedy clubs and I'm not doing comedy, I'm like just very thrown off. And I like physically ran into Ted and was like, oh my gosh. Cause I was <laughs> yeah, like going yeah. to a bar and I was like, hi, was what's going on? And like, then I saw Tori the other night. That was cute. At Greenwich, you yeah. Show wearing your glasses. Uh huh. Are those the only type of glasses you wear? Aviator type? Yeah. I had gold ones and I went to find them the other day and I couldn't. So I guess it's just those. Derek Drescher told me I look divorced in those though. <laughs> he wears the same type. He goes, you look old. <laughs> And I was like, what? And he goes, I mean, like, <laughs> tired. Like, yeah. And then he was so like, divorce. He just kept doubling. I was like, doubling down. That's like, the worst when nice. it's someone's like, is everything okay? You look kind of tired. Right? Yeah. I'm like, no. You look sad. I've been like, crying all day. Yeah. People I've always ask that about my voice. They're like, whoa. Just like, smoking marble. My favorite reds. is, I've gotten yeah, this just, twice. Someone I goes, I smoke. With yeah, like too. That. Yeah, well, you need a little space. I don't know for the why cigarette. people hold cigarettes like that. That doesn't make any sense. Like you don't have muscles like in your hands like to do that. What do you mean? Hey, dude, right here. It's why like wouldn't chopsticks. you hold it like a regular person? That's because that's you don't a, hold that's chopsticks for weed. like this. So weed, weed is this. Well, I'm saying it is chopsticks. Yes, Weed's or this. a really small wiener. Yeah, it is. It's like this. <laughs> it's like that. Wait, no. What I was gonna ask is, I saw a TikTok recently. I would love a guy's opinion on this. So I I saw a TikTok and these guys were like underrated the hottest a girl looks is when they are have a messy bun and glasses on do you agree the hottest i don't know <laughs> like, I, I think that's a good look though it's cute like I, I think if if there's not that much effort into it but there's a little bit i think that's a good look you mean sunglasses or like glasses 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 okay what do you what are your guys' take on fake glasses i think weird. it's a fucking crime weird all right. I just want to <laughs> say well, because you can't wear glasses. You're talking yeah. about how good your eyesight were. You're going to survive yeah. the apocalypse. Hold now on. came back to bite you. You can't butt. wear vanity glasses. I'm so Hold sorry. On. I, I'm just saying I wear blue. Like, y'all, I look good as shit. Like, I wear, I, can I cuss? Is that okay? What, have, we haven't cursed the whole episode. I, know, I, just, uh, I don't know what I have said. I, we we may not have. Blacked out no, when I walked in. Did. Yeah. Come on, southern in me. <laughs> no, literally the Southern in me is like, oh. But Seven um, male. but um, I know when your mom was watching the show, I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> My mom, who like lived in New York for ten years, like is way cooler yeah. than me. Yeah, she's fine. But um, <laughs> no, but um, I have blue light glasses. I don't wear them out. Yeah. But I wear them looking at a screen. Okay. And 
I'm no. gonna allow so that. Think, so I've been wearing these. These are, but like sunglasses. Those are cool. They are cool. I want the yellow lens like that. Those are very in Ooh, right now. Ooh, that those looks good. Can you see those yourself? Are, yeah, those are yeah. fun. Ooh, I look yeah, they're cool. cool. So I wear those. Yeah, so wear like those imagine these with clear lenses. Like I look super cute. Sometimes I just walk and get a coffee because I'm like, I'm so smart. <laughs> yeah. I'm so smart so with smart. my little glasses. Like, I hope somebody asked me a math question. <laughs> yeah, and I can answer it really well, but I still have 2020 vision. So did you get an 800 or 805? What's can, Apparently you can get more than 800. What's the deal? How do you get more than eight? Oh, I, I know how you get more than 800. <laughs> um, no, you can get more than 800 if you like if they ended up throwing out one of the questions because like there were two right answers or whatever, but you technically got the oh, right answer. Right, right, right. It's crazy. Um, that did not happen to me. No, but I've always been a math person. My, I majored in physics. Like, Oh my gosh. Oh, I right. didn't know that. Uh -huh. Cause you wanted to be a psychologist or did I make that up? Nope. You made that up. Wait, that would be so <laughs> random though. Why would you need to know? I don't know why I said that. Your did your parents also live near the comic strip or did I make that up too? Live near the comic strip? Like in New York, someone else told me that. Send me your tapes. <laughs> <laughs> there For was me? there was a guy that I was like trying to low key date, and then he wanted to be a comedian. And he started sending his tapes, and I was like, Oh my god! But he's still pursuing it. So I think there's a lot of uh, crossover in the comedy world, though, because oh, you're around people, people that have the mm -hmm. same passions. You're on the same schedules. Like it, it's kind of organic. I think if it, yeah, it makes it's sense for the to, people that it works with. I I don't, but like have other reasons for that too but i just but i do understand why it works for a lot of like comedians that day yeah my analogy i gave the other night was it's like playing poker and it's like you can't cash your chips out on everyone because that's a bad look but if you have <laughs> but if you keep your chips and you keep stacking them up you can eventually if you really feel passionate about it like push so your chips to one sure. person mm -hmm. that's my only right because you don't want to be the person Thanks. with you know chip here chip yeah, there. yeah you don't want that at all no no bad if the chips get out are there even any like <laughs> sluts in our industry guys or girls that yeah, people are like naming all yeah. the sluts <laughs> <laughs> but you know what i mean that girls are like oh my god he has hooked up with a lot of comedians like yeah. is there a guy like that i don't Honestly, think so. no one's coming to mind first yeah. so really okay so yeah i i guess maybe i'm a little naive but i don't have there's no like I mean, a lot of people have reputations to a certain degree, but like there's no one that I'm like, oh, I know. Oh, I know. I think because I have the no comedian rule, people like trust me with a lot of uh, yeah, low, yeah, yeah. Uh, tea, some tea. Yeah. Because they're like, well, she wouldn't. So, yeah. I mean, teach their own. <laughs> teach their own. Yeah, Let's again, I, I'm going to stand by my poker chip analogy. I have not. No one has gotten my full stack. So there's that. No one's gotten my full stack. <laughs> <laughs> We've all made mistakes. Yeah. Chip has fallen. Chip's have fallen. <laughs> there was a breeze in the air. Yeah. The I chip, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Yep. <laughs> Have That's you ever break. have you ever lost a chip? Have you ever no, dropped a chip? No. I got all my chips stacked. <laughs> Should we talk about high school life? Why how not? High, how was high school you life for to bring you ladies? Were you guys popular in high school? Yeah. Yeah. Were you? Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty bad. I went to a school <laughs> with like a lot of gay now. people. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, really well, I, went like to, I went to a very diverse type school. <laughs> what was it called? Professional children's school. If you look it up, there are a lot that of, sounds so weird. There are a lot of pass. Like, like look it up on, on Google. Cause like a lot of people who are notable, like, uh, um, like Scarlett Johansson. I'm wow. picturing like, um, back in, you know, what was that know, movie? A lot of other Baby boss or whatever. That's what I'm picturing. With Alec Baldwin. Yeah, did Wait, you guys you all wear like suits? Suits? No, it was like very kind of just wear whatever you want. It was insane. Oh, was Actually, it one time to class, I was cross dressing day. I wore a bra. They insane. You had I'm popping it up right here. Cross dressing day. Yes, I was wearing like a bra and a skirt. I could even imagine insane. what would um, happen if that was the thing in the side. <laughs> <laughs> My parents sent me it to because like that was the only school I can. Th I don't want to say thrive at, but do well. Yeah, yeah, because you had the ADD. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, seduced. and as for tennis, and they would let you, Sedated. or they would let me. Seduced. Go to a tennis tournament on Thursday night. If I was in Florida, then I'd uh, have the homework, take the test when I got back Monday. Mm -hmm. It was that type of school. You so it was performing were that at school. intense with tennis that you were going to Florida for it? Yeah, I was homeschooled in ninth grade for tennis. Oh my God, did yeah. you ever want to go pro? Yeah, like when I was in ninth grade and I realized pretty quickly that that wasn't going to happen. Why? Just you just didn't have it or what? In tennis, it, a lot has to do with how young you start the sport because yeah, it's true. such a body. Like a child, um, an infant. It, it's body so early. focused. You know what I mean? It's like gymnastics. You kind of have to have full control over your body. It's not just like you master the baseball swing. Right. You can become athletic and play basketball. Uh, but tennis is just such a different sport. 
How long did you have your USDA eligibility? um, I played USDA tournaments from the ages of like 13 to 17. Tennis is a tough sport. You play any pros in your time? Um, yeah, not kids who you would, would have heard oh, of. You guys must have known a few who played pretty seriously and went to college, right? Going to yeah. high school. And I played like competitive tennis for a while and then uh-huh. quit. And, but I had a lot of friends that like really did it. Um, did the thing. My I mom really played did tennis that thing, in yeah. college. So. Oh, where? In Middlebury. Okay. Oh, Vermont. Cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wish I was good at tennis. I, I did it in like, from like age like 10 to 11, 12. And then you I ever play like, pickleball? No. I have never played. I've never so played either. Played. And it's we so have, funny. We all have to play. My mom yeah, loves it. My mom's like says that she's better than everyone, which makes it yeah. more fun because everyone does it like recreationally. Uh-huh. She's so, like slamming the ball. No, she's <laughs> really good at it. And I mean, obviously she's an amazing tennis player, so it makes sense. Uh-huh. But I, for whatever reason, have just been resistant to trying. Because it's just too loud. You know, you hit that ball. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> there are people like, literally there are people in the Sorry. suburbs that Sorry, complain you, um, about how loud you, it is do the sound it's again a, <laughs> it's like the goddamn pickleball courts out there and suddenly we're too much noise oh yeah well i was talking about yeah when your mom was playing there some guy yelling at your mom Fun. what's the biggest takeaway from manners class you use to this day i use so like much niche from things manners. like like i learned oh later gosh. that you pass the salt and pepper together like that's yeah, like a like very they're, niche they're married um, yeah well, so in manners class, you you always went and they would set it up like you were at dinner at the White House. And I always got to be first later, lady because I was cool. And basically you had to, you learned how to set a table. Uh-huh. So when I was a server, um, like later, obviously in life, that actually was really great because I always knew exactly how everything had to be set. You always. served at a place that had like spoons up top. Mm-hmm. That's some fancy what place. Do you mean spoons up top, <laughs> like dessert spoons. Yeah, like on you top said, of the plate. Yeah, no, they're that's like they're like fancy. They're like upper. Yeah, but I will say it gave me kind I of OCD a with a lot of things. Like if someone sets the table wrong, like it's I'm gonna notice it immediately. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. So annoying. That's also from being a server though. That and I had like an intense. Where'd you serve? Manager. Um, like a huge dining place in like Oregon. Really That's random. so random. Why, why were you there? Where, yeah. Um, I had I had like a lot of friends that were like going out there after senior year of uh-huh. high school. For what? Just to do we're it. Just grilling Nina now just I to know. do it. Like, geez. Um, anything else you guys want to know? Um, How long were you in Oregon for? Like a month, six weeks. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, like you don't, it was smoke, like a you don't smoke weed though. No, I've never smoked anything in my life. Oh my God, I watched a Vice thing today and they did this documentary on how this guy is, these guys are uh, smoking scorpions, kill a scorpion, put like some really of it into idea. a cigarette and inhale this it. Yeah. Scorpion poisonous? There were 10, yeah, there were 10 guys who were in rehab for it and they just constantly have headaches and they like, don't remember anything. That sounds like the worst idea. Yeah, but it, it, they brought it back <laughs> to the point where it's very sad because some of these people are just so desperate to get high on I, something that they're yeah. like, all right, I'll just smoke a scorpion. Sad. Which is a wild IMO. But think about how IMO. long it took to smoke weed. I don't think I've ever heard someone say right? IMO out loud. <laughs> we used to smoke like poison ivy probably back in the we day. So spice. one guy Remember smoked. Remember like spice what? in high school? Was like that. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about us. I'm talking about our ancestors. <laughs> yeah, you really pulled those out. I was like, oak. sure, yeah, I, I did some crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, Remember when that stuff, spice was cool? Like Miley Cyrus smoked it. And, like, K2? She got all fucked up. I was smoking that to avoid drug tests. Like K2 didn't uh, show up on. It was crazy. What's K2? Spice, you can buy it at the deli. I don't yeah. know if anymore, but it was killing people. Yeah, it was. It was like a, a knockoff fake weed, and it would yeah. give you maybe a tenth of the feeling. So I'd just be like, <sighs> smoking freaking. That yeah. was like when things. everybody. Well, did y'all remember when people got into like um, air conditioner stuff? No way. Maybe it was just in the air south. Air conditioner <laughs> stuff? Yeah, it was all over the news. We mean air cleaner, the duster? Remember the duster? No, well, that no, was I remember the duster. Thing. No, this was, this was like, like people were going into like air conditioner units at the, the outside <laughs> ones. Yeah. In the like, city? Um, I, not in the city, but in the south. You know, on the outside of a house, there's like those loud things. They would somehow get something out of there. Damn. Yeah. That's my great. parents would always print out the article and put it at my my place <laughs> like where I ate breakfast. And so they like helping when, you with your vocab. Yeah. Remember when Four Loco had caffeine in oh, it? Oh my yeah. god, that was, that was the best. Well, so that was always printed out and put at my breakfast plate. Like, do not drink OC. this stuff. The, when they like banned it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause I was back in my day that like I would drink that. My freshman year, I like remember anybody who bad. could drink more oh, yeah. than one was just a legend yeah. on the campus. Yeah, like anybody yeah. who like had one in a sip, they'd be the new record holder. It was crazy how I've good it looked in the can. <laughs> and then you have a sip of it. It was, I, it was like gasoline. 
The I drank only some. like I was a I was a big um Limerita girl. Oh, oh, out of the can. <laughs> right, the big Mike's can, Hard was can. a big heavy rotation item for me in high school. Yeah. Smear enough. I think ice. all the few f- yeah. the fruity drinks just straight up with a oh. straw. Oh wow, straw is a, mm-hmm. it's a nice touch. It Nowadays it kids are all drinking the um, White Claw. The South, yeah. Yeah, yeah I wish we had that. I'm like, well, what a luxury. I'd yeah. get, I would have been so I remember really I was drinking that. Burnett's. You guys remember Burnett's? I drank $10 for a handle. Yeah, I drank a I actually like Burnett's. I liked it a lot. I actually lot. didn't Ooh. mind. Pear was my go-to what? flavor in college. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. It was just so good. I remember I used to play this uh, shooting game mm-hmm. with uh, oh. my roommate in college. We like had a little basketball hoop on the door. And we would go free throws to 10 and everyone, the other person made, you had to take a shot. So we'd be like 12 shots deep before uh-huh. 7 p.m. before we went to the bar. <laughs> oh, it was unreal how much I was I able to drink back I don't know how I did it either. If you, you couldn't pay me to do this myself now. Like, absolutely not. I'd have but a I never was really, I never really felt it so much. Like I was always able to kind of bounce back the next Same. day. Oh, we'll <laughs> see. Yeah, that's like my special skill now is I'm... I don't really get hangovers like at all. Wow. Yeah, it's like a beautiful thing. That is. But I also crazy. like will stay awake to ensure that I won't. <laughs> you know? You just like drinking water the whole like, time. Like drinking a ton of water, eating chicken wings. Like, oh, I was going to ask if you had like a midnight snack when you guys are oh, I drunk. I love chicken wings. Your go to so though is like, is like chicken and peppers though. Oh, yeah, from the bodega. Peppers? Yeah, it's like chicken and peppers. I don't know. But Wait, those, the ones that are like shaped like that in the thing? There's so many different kind of peppers. <laughs> I'm talking about the. Is it a bell pepper? Is that what's yeah, called? Yeah, but it's like, but it's a like sliced. Cut up. Yeah, but you're right, right, right. So I mean, it would look like that maybe. Nina's drunkies are healthy as hell. That's all I'm. Yeah, no, say. my yeah, drunkies are annoying. That's good. It's like well, because <laughs> like I'm allergic to things and drunk, like, like eating apples and and shit. Yeah, no, uh, I'm always. It's crazy like chicken drunk. wings. Chicken. Well, I love a sweet potato top, but that's a little niche. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, yeah. Wait, sweet potato tater tots. Yes. Remarkably niche. I will say. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that. I get the ick so easily from guys at the gym. Really? <laughs> well, like, what kind of stuff are the guys doing when you like, get the ick? Like, I, <laughs> I will there. get the ick so fast if a guy's running form is weird. I'm Yo, like, fast. no, that's standard. Guys should know how to freaking run. No, but sometimes they don't. So then they should slow if down. They're on the elliptical immediately now. <laughs> God. If I saw a guy, like, oh, you're done there, dead That's in the water, toast, buddy. Toast. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why, but like, yeah, let's d- depending on the weight, like, because listen, I don't need you to be like super strong, yeah, but like, for whatever reason, if if the weight is too light and he's oh. doing like triceps at all, for whatever triceps reason. are the hardest muscle, though. No, I weight. know, but I'm not saying like I realize it needs to go down a little bit, yeah. but like, if we're, <laughs> if we're like looking at the 10 pounds, I'm like. Do, do the resistance yeah, thing. It yeah. looks better. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. If you were on like huh? the, the big balance <laughs> ball, like doing like, anything, like yeah. anything on the balance What's ball. What's the balance ball? The half like, thing? No, the, the big ball. Big ball. The b- big circular if ball. If you're on the ball, you're right. dead in the Most water. Most balls are circular. <laughs> Touche. But I thought you meant yeah. the half one. That, like you balance and you do the thing on. You guys know what I'm talking so about? You do? No, no, no. I, I haven't in a while, it. but like tennis, I used to do all that dumb. What do you yeah. get insecure about shit. at the at the gym? Me, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. You're like, no. I got this. Yeah, I like to think that I'm kind of in my own zone. I'm like, I, no one's <laughs> no one's gonna uh, watch what I'm doing. Where do you go? I just want to be able to like go and not give a shit because I was an Equinox <laughs> girl for a while. You as what? My, I did Equinox for yeah. a while. Gym memberships besides Equinox in the city, I think are actually reasonable. One of the yeah. only things that are reasonable in the city. Me paying $40 yeah. a month is crazy for my gym. I yeah, agree. that's that's like not bad at all. As someone that goes to overpriced Pilates classes. Yeah. I'm also I'm like, good. I'm a fan yeah, of walking. True. New I'm York like, Pilates? Uh, no, I go to Body Rock. Okay. It's like Pilates on steroids. Like one of those. Is there music during it? Body yeah. rock. Okay. Yeah, it's not that. But I yeah. want to hear your body rock. What's that? <laughs> Bieber, beauty and the beat. All I need, right? It's a beauty the and, and the beast. beat, right? Yeah. Whatever. Is he good, peeps? Is he good? I mean, there's a lot of drama, right? Between Haley and... Oh, is, is he, he okay? <laughs> <laughs> when you're a child of God, you don't break up with someone. The Yo. Lord would be so sad. Tell that to my ex who <laughs> dumped me. <I'm> like, <laughs> um, I, I can see Justin being like, I can see them falling this. out of love. But they need to work through it. I could see them it being like a very amicable breakup. Those are boring. Yeah, I know. I, mean, I want more not, drama than that. I want him to like, <laughs> but like I want it to be like 
she makes the decision so that he can date. Yeah, but that's going to be a whole PR thing, though. Yeah. After many years together, we've decided. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Well, there were all these rumors that they got, um, they're pregnant. Recently? I have a joke where I talk (laughs) about how I... uh, I talk about this show called the uh, I didn't know I was pregnant and then I go into like an, a reenactment of like you didn't do the the accent last night I know because I stopped doing it because Why? one time I thought someone thought I was doing black voice oh um, and I'm like that's not what I'm doing no but you sounded just southern Right. Yeah, because okay. last night I was like, why didn't she do the southern voice? Okay, it wasn't as good. <laughs> it's not as good. <laughs> no, it, she did the joke and I was like. What the hell? Did you I, just ruin your own I whitewashed it because I was scared. You whitewashed it. I you know, that. whatever the fuck. I I made it. I made it as <laughs> made little it political as you know. Like I removed all the uh, like you know yeah. any of the issues. Because I didn't want anyone to get offended, thinking I'm like trying to make myself look stupid, and by maybe coming on as whatever the fuck they think I'm Racist. doing. When really I was just trying to like punch up like a stupid like a. I was just on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> no, and you like pooped out a baby. Or yeah, something. yeah. No, but I think that 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 accent. Also, if you know the show, you know that it's all these people from like rural. Okay, sixteen so, and so pregnant. Bring, so bring yeah. it back. Yeah. Okay. Y'all Reel remember. that shit back. I just really thought one time I it didn't get laughs, and I'm like, oh my god, do they think I'm being like racist? No, I think that maybe you just didn't deliver the joke well. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys have planned tonight? And the next upcoming few weeks, anything oh, exciting? What a beautiful question. Yes. You know, you kick it off. <laughs> well, let's see. Tonight, um, I'm meeting a friend for drinks. A guy? Nope. Uh. <laughs> Ow. Don't love a Saturday date. Um, it's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure. For but who? It just, it's a, you don't want to do that to yourself. Like a Saturday date like is like together, just so intense. You're not going out on a Saturday. Yeah. Because it's like, yo, I'm turning down my most available night right, right, of right, the right, yeah. yeah, like for sense, this, it better be amazing. Saturday <laughs> night is like there's you're untouchable. I think people sleep on a Sunday night date. I like a Sunday night date. Um, and it's an easy out. Like, oh, I got work tomorrow. Yeah, but that's like every day, no? Well, not yeah, on Saturday. But... Touche. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But no, um, yeah. So I'm just doing that, and then got a bunch of things to prep because. We have a show, um, or I have a show tomorrow, our new installment of Buy Me Dinner First. So, why is it so? Why is it the new installment? Sunday Scaries. Sunday Scaries. Nina's on fire. Yes, it sounds like it. You name the day, she's got a fucking (laughs) show for it. (laughs) Name the day. You Um, should start doing like a Taco Tuesday show. Wine Wednesdays, Bachelorette. (gasps) If you did like a Bachelor, no, they're watching. I knew a girl who was in third place. And I thought she won because her uh, Instagram Ew. was all the guy. No way. Yeah, she was cool. What an embarrassing show. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. I loved him. It's like you met him four weeks ago. I would so <laughs> see myself doing that and completely falling in love with the guy. Becoming being like, the bachelorette? Like, I, I don't, I you wouldn't actually go, go on, on it. Yeah, you should. I know. Nina, I have a you'd lot be of, a great contestant. People are so like, too. people are like, you'd be like the one that is like friends with everyone. And I'm like, yeah, but that <laughs> you don't hurt anyone's win. heart. Yeah, actually, yeah. That, that girl won this time. So, but I don't know. I think you but, should do it. Yeah, but I want to go on for the right reasons. And I'm not ready to get married right now. That's so. fair. But, um, yeah, and then I'm in like a bazillion weddings coming up. So that's what my couple weeks going forward. You start writing those speeches. That'll be good for joke writing, kind of. Yeah, I MC all the <laughs> rehearsal dinners. Okay. It's actually kind of fun, but that's what's going on in my life. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Uh, for me, I got to show up Broadway tonight and then probably go home. I've been watching Beef, Ali Wong's new show. Oh, was it good? I'm like so excited to like go home and watch that. Like that uh. is my Saturday night. Um, and then upcoming, uh, I've got some like work trips coming up and then hitting the road with Troy again in May. Uh, uh, we're going to Chicago and Boston, Laugh Boston and Zany's. We've done the podcast for like a year now. Mm-hmm. So we're just like super close from that. And then yeah, we've gone to Florida. We've been, we were in Maryland last week. Uh, we've been to like, uh, Stanford a few times. We have a show in Stanford, which is exciting, May 1st. Maybe you guys just check the link in this YouTube video for all that Ted Where? Jones World stuff. Uh, New York Comedy Club. Stanford. Oh my God. I did a show there with Troy yeah. and it was so, it's the best green room yeah. in all of Green Yeah, Fox. it was insane. So I went there with uh, Julio. You guys celebrating Ramadan or no? <laughs> I'm not religious. No. Uh, not I Ramadan. celebrate life. Good for you. Thanks. That was probably the weirdest thing I've ever said. <laughs> Thanks. We're going to end on that. Okay. <laughs> Nina, Tori, thank you so much. Nina, before we get out of here, we're popping up your Instagram, which is? Nina Barnett. 
Tori, your Instagram? Tori Cole. If you guys know how to spell, that shouldn't be so difficult for you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in, watching and listening. Girls, thank you so much for coming on the couch. This was great. And we'll see you guys outside of the studio soon, right? Yeah. All right. Amazing. Cool. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.